Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Unbroken Bonds video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be looking at a very interesting and wacky Seeking deck. Um, which, you know what, actually might be okay because it, Seeking's a water type. And just being a water type right now in this format is enough to be worth looking at. Uh, Seeking has the attack Enhanced Horn where you can flip two coins doing 30 damage to each heads. But if you have a tool on Seeking, you have to flip six coins instead. Uh, which is pretty nuts actually. So six coin flips, 30 damage times the number of heads. Um, if you get all six heads, you can do 180 damage. So we're going to be trying to make Seeking work today in today's PC Show video. Before we get into the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO codes, especially if you're still looking for Unbroken Bonds pack codes, uh, you got, if you're trying to get other codes like Pokemon GX box codes for Kangaskhan GX, Lil Marowak GX, Pikaram deck box codes, you're looking for trainer kits or elite trainer box codes, all those Pokemon TCGO good goody code stuff. Uh, you can get them over at Card Cavern TCG when you do end up getting something from Card Cavern. Of course, guys, you can use code LDF for a 5% discount at the checkout. So uh, if you ever need any PCGO codes, get them over at Card Cavern TCG. And uh, yeah, use code LDF if you get anything from there. So shout out to them. So now let's look at the list. Uh, so Seeking is an interesting card because of that attack. Uh, so if you have a tool on it, you can flip six coins. We already said that. Um, thankfully, you can actually add a choice band on Seeking, which technically makes you have the seven coin flip because then you get the extra 30 damage on top of it. So uh, Seeking can do okay numbers. Uh, if you combo it with Shrine for the extra damage, we have Victini, which is huge because we can reflip Enhanced Horn's coin flip. Sadly, Victini's rotating, but, uh, you know... We can use Seeking and Victini while well, Victini is still in the format. So I actually just kept this list extremely simple, as you can see. I'm just playing a 4-4 Seeking line and a bunch of like just basic tech Pokemon to help you out, like Ditto for the other Goldeen, Mew to protect your bench, Mr. Mime. Seeking barely one shot, so we're gonna play Mime so they can't do Ace Rolla. I'm actually going with two Orangurus. There's no Mars Shadow in the deck. I'm actually going with two Orangurus. Uh, the main reason why I'm playing two of them is for Instruct. Uh, but we could actually use Psychic. We might end up using Psychic a couple times. I am playing two experience shares. I am actually playing, as you can see, seven tools. The, uh, the reason I'm playing seven is because we need to have a tool on Seeking at all times. So uh, with seven tools, uh, we're always going to get there. And I am playing two EXP shares. We can actually use the EXP share with Oranguru so that Oranguru can potentially attack with Psychic. Uh, we do have a DCE in the deck just for that reason alone. Might be a little weird playing a DC in a deck like this because Seeking only uses the water to attack. But again, we can build up a Ranguru through DC and we might end up using a Ranguru Psychic as a, a, an attack. That's it for the Pokemon. Uh, we go into the items now. Uh, pretty simple stuff. I got Adventure Bag to be able to get any Pokemon tools back. I do play one copy of Field Blower uh, just because it's Field Blower. Four Nest Balls, two Stretchers, a Switch. Pretty simple stuff. I am going with one Timer Ball. For Ultra Balls. The so Timer Ball is mainly just here to find your Seekings. Uh, three Shrines. No Brooklyn Hills, as you can tell. I'm actually just going with Shrine. Uh, I'll take any extra damage I can get for Seeking. Uh, four Cynthia, three Guzma, four Lily. Uh, I've gone with one copy of Judge, by the way, just so that we can maybe lower their hand. Uh, no Marsh Shadows, as you can tell. Uh, the reason I'm actually playing three Guzmas, though, is because it is pretty nice to be able to Guzma finish off the Pokemon that you attacked earlier. To be fair, it's pretty simple for them just to retreat the Pokemon onto the bench. So having Guzma, you can target them down. I'm going with four different tools. Uh, four choice bands, two XP shares, and one bodybuilding dumbbells for the tools. And I'm going with eight water and one DCE. Uh, I couldn't really think of anything other like other Pokemon to put in this deck. Like the only other like Pokemon I could think of was like originally just Pika Miku. Uh, but I just was like, eh, it's not very good. There's no really other Pokemon I could think of putting in here other than maybe like a Slowking or really that's about it. Um, so I don't really know. I, I just kept it simple with four Seeking. And uh, we'll see if Seeking can ride us to the victory. So let's go get some games on PCGO. All right, guys, we're going to hop right into some games now with Seeking. See what we're up against. I have been playing against a bunch of Reshizard in the past, like, few weeks. So we probably will run into a Reshizard in. Look at that. The most likely is a Reshizard game. The first game, um, and we are playing Seeking. Uh, Seeking is kind of vulnerable, though, to, like, stuff like Miltank and... Uh, Mill tank and what's his face? Max potion spam. Some rushes are list play those. Uh, Snorlax and Eevee can be tough too. 
Unfortunately, we didn't get the best of hands. We can at the very least Ultra Ball for an Oranguru. I like to play two Orangurus um, over the one just because the two is just nicer to have, I think. And my opponent just starts Reshi's Arch. So what we can actually try and do here is do Elegant Swim so that he can't attack me next turn, which is a good idea. Uh, Eeveelax is a bit more of a threat in than uh, Reshi's Arch is, but it's fine. If we actually get a Ranguru here, we can actually use a Ranguru as a way to put some good damage on Reshizard and the Snorlax and Eevee because Psychic can do, you know, what, 140 damage because of the energy they'll have on them and oh my gosh, Jewel Lily. All right, well, Ultra Ball, away EXP share and Water Energy, get ourselves, uh, we'll get another Goldeen. I don't know. I feel like it's just best to get Goldeen. I could have gotten a Ranguru. But we're going to play it safe, get a Goldeen. We don't really need a tool quite yet, right? We do have two Nest Balls. That can get us another Goldeen. Can nest Ball again for an Oranguru. We'll drop the Shrine. So I can Elegant Swim for 80 damage here. Potentially not get attacked next turn. Yeah, I think it's worth it. We have the Adventure Bag anyways. I think it's worth it to actually do this. Nice. <laughs> so Goldeen can't get damaged. I am a little worried that he can heal this thing. Maybe I could have gotten a Mr. Mine, but I doubt he's playing H. Rolla, so I think we're good. And you can see why I like having the three Guzmas, by the way, because we might end up needing the Guzma this thing out later on. Uh, he's actually going to bring out the other Goldeen. That's unfortunate. So as I know we're seeking here off this Lily... We can knock out the Reshizard and take three prizes. I mean, we should be able to knock this thing out as long as our coin flips don't fail us. We have the choice band. The shrine is most likely it's still going to be a play. So boom, there you go. Alright. We need to not whiff Seeking here. Although we can still, I guess, hit him for 80. Ah, there it is. We just straight up draw Seeking. And we'll attach, bench the Mew, and we'll instruct for one. The only thing I'm looking for is another Seeking and a Ditto, maybe. Uh, we do have a Judge. No need to play it. We'll just Lily for now. There's a Nest Ball. We can get Ditto. And all right, we are going to go in with the Seeking, and let's see if we can attack and get a Knockout. Well, we are hopefully going to get a Knockout. Don't know why I said attack. Uh, three for three. That is... How much is that? <laughs> Three heads. Okay, that is a knockout. Yeah, we got him. I don't know why my math was so off there, but yeah, 204 damage. You need four heads with, um, I think, the choice band on for seeking to one-shot Reshizard. All right, nice. There we go. Boom. The only other threat, potentially, is going to be the Eeveelax, and uh, we'll see if we can get through that. My opponent draws a field blower, which is fine. And we do play a lot of tools. And uh, he could have gone that last turn. Could have been worse. Uh, ooh, he's going to let loose me. That's fine. I got the Oranguru in play. We could probably knock out Jirachi if I find a tool also. Just need... Well, we'll actually know we need three heads, to come to think of it. I mean, we're in a good spot. The fact that we got that knockout. My opponent's most likely going to go for the Eeveelax play next. I don't think he's going to want to attack me with another Reshizard. If we can get by the Eevee Lax, we can win the game. And we do have answers with Seeking. Try to get a bunch of heads on it. And we have a Ranguru. The Ranguru can also put a lot of... Oh, what? He's getting on the Reshizard. All right, never mind. We don't even need to worry about an Eevee Lax. It's just going to get a Reshizard. So we're probably not going to attack this turn. So we can try to take the prize on the Jirachi. Not that we need it, but like... Good coming, Haney. Heat Factory. All right. Let's see if we can bump the Stadium here. I would like to play this Blower. So hopefully he plays some tools. No, he scoops. Seeking just, just, it's too broken. It's, it's clearly the face of the meta right now is Seeking. Nah, but I, I knew we were going to run to a Reshizard game. I'm glad we did. Alright, let's go get another game with the deck. But, uh, yeah, I figured we were going to run to a Reshizard match there because everyone plays it right now on the ladder. So, that was a pretty good win. If we run into more Reshizard, I will be pretty happy because we can kind of just keep taking prizes against Reshizard. Alright, we're up against another Fire deck. Doesn't look like it's going to be Reshizard, though. Or it might be. It might be the Greens build, actually. 
But hey, I'll throw these Reshi Star games at me and I will take them any day of the week. Um, see how we do here. We did get a good start last game. We'll see if we can follow up with another good start. We are mulliganing. Um, but yeah, if there, if you could think of any other attackers to put in here, you can definitely try and add them. Um, but I, I just didn't know what other attackers to put in the deck. Just saying. Alright, let's see here what we're going to start with. Get the Goldine start with the Oranguru. Not bad. Turn 1 Judge is a little not good though. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Judge is better in the later game, I think. I would actually rather not do Judge here. Tempted to Ultra Ball. Mm, I don't want to waste the structure though. I don't know. Okay, it's definitely a Reshi Sark deck, which puts a smile on my face. Alrighty then. We did prize a Sea King. So we Ultra Ball away these two. I guess we'll turn one Judge him. He's not playing Jirachi or Lele, so maybe this could stick. We'll try. We'll try anyways. Don't know why I actually put them in the active. He could just Welder knock me out. But we'll instruct for one if it lets me. Thank you. Alright, we're looking for a supporter. Guzma. So we judge ourselves into a bit of an awkward hand. That's unfortunate. We'll see how we do, though. Oh, we got a Poke Gear. RIP. But as long as we can wreck these things, I don't really care. Um... See if we get knocked out. If we at least get a water again, Elegant Swim could buy us a few turns. Oh, there's a Welder. So he could potentially double Blaze KO me here. Hope that doesn't happen. Flint, uh, that. Yeah, looks like he got it. But is he going to take the knockout, though? Is he going to knock out Goldeen with the double Blaze? Hopefully we can get a good supporter, though. Not really in a good spot if we don't. I don't know if I want to bring in the Goldeen or bring in the Victini because I have the one in my hand. And I actually would like to bench it. I'm trying to bench as many things as I can. I want to play the Blower too. Like, I want to be able to, like, thin my hand down quite a bit here. So I'm hoping we can. I doubt he's going to play a Tool, though. And he's actually going to take the GX knockout. I think we just bring in the Goldeen because... We can still try to buy time. Okay, there we go. Drew Lily. Lily for four, though, isn't great. But it is good enough to maybe win the game this turn. <laughs> oh, no. Let's do it. All right, struck for one. Give me another supporter. Mew, I guess we'll bench you. All right, here we go. We need, I think, four heads to win this. One. Yikes. Ah, roof flip. Please and thank you. Okay, two. Three. One more heads. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this deck is too good. Yo, what the heck? Yo, I'm, I'm done, dude. I'm so done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sea King. Sea King just did that. Reshis are dirty. Oh, my. Oh my gosh, leave a like for seeking slapping people. Oh my gosh. Wow, dude. Seeking is just running these Reshis arts dirty. That is amazing. Wow. All right, this Seeking memes deck is working out really well right now. I figured we run the Reshis art decks because everyone's playing it, but I did not expect these games to go that well. That was nuts. Oh, all right. See you guys in another game, I guess. All right, guys, let's just keep trucking along with. A couple more games with Seeking. I mean, hey, we're beating Reshizard, and that's all that matters. You know, that's what we wanted to find, anyways, was a couple Reshizard decks so that we can just put the herd on them with coin flips. So I'm feeling pretty good right about now. Maybe we'll run to another fire deck like Bilcephalon. Uh, we'll see, though. Oh, another fire deck. There you go. <laughs> we're three for three on the Reshizard. And this is looking pretty good. We just keep the seeking action up. And we do win the coin flip. Okay. We'll see how we start. Our starts have been like pretty decent. The last game, like the last, like the last game start wasn't the best because we had to judge them, but the judge still was able to get us the win. So I mean it was still a pretty good, uh, pretty good judge. 
We're definitely against Reshi Zard. She's got those sleeves in the deck box. And oh no, no real like draw support. Not great. I'm actually gonna put the mime down. Yeah, we might draw Lily. So yeah, our hand is not looking too good right about now. Okay, we got a Ranguru. Buys us a few turns. We did prize a Sea King though. That's unfortunate. Do this. Do this. Start for one. Please be a Lily. Mm, Mew. We'll bench it anyways. We'll pass. I could have attached the active, but I think it's better to attach the bench. He might, probably won't knock me out this turn because he's probably gonna go flare starter, but still, I think it's for the best. And there's the Evilax. So all I have to do is really attack with Evilax, and it's gonna be a bit harder to put up with. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Evilax, that's for sure. This thing is gonna be a pain. Like, I think we can lose to Reshi's Heart because of the Eevee and Snorlax, but if they play Reshi's Heart, uh, we can win. Now, the Volk is not bad to deal with, we just need two heads to knock it out. So, yeah. I am scared of that Eevee Snorlax getting max potion like twice in the game. We just need to get really lucky with our heads. We have a Ranguru, which can also try to get some damage on this thing. Like, if he has four energy on this thing, he might even have more. Oh my gosh, we just fall asleep. Well, good thing I play Field Blower. Um, the Eevee Lax can easily like have like four or five energies on it. And then like Psychic is doing even more damage. Like, just with four energy on base, it's like 80, 100, 120, 140. 170 with a choice fan, so Ranguru can come in and like take out an Evilax too. Can we draw something good? Not really. And we'll DCU. Struck for one. Bit of a waste. Nah, no, uh, nothing. I don't even want to Ultra Ball for the other Ranguru. Alright, my opponent might have a Guzma, we'll see though. Nope, they might get double custom catcher though. We'll see. Seeking is not the best answer to Reshi's art, obviously, because of stuff like Eevee and Snorlax, but the thing is in play, so if we ever get a Guzma, we can always try and knock this thing out. I was gonna get the Guzma for next turn. So if we can draw a Guzma and an energy, we can knock out Snorlax. I think I might just go for the Ultra Ball play and get the other Ranguru. I'm just gonna get rid of Two cards. Yeah, I do think we're gonna try and do that. Oh, looks like my opponent just knocked me out with high heat blast. Okay, that's fine. That actually gives us the opinion that gives us a reason to play stretcher. Which is good. Not really looking for choice pan right now. Sorry, game. Alright. Truck for two. We can maybe buy time with Elegant Swim. We know he's gonna do Guzma. Okay, there we go. Got a Lily. I'm just gonna play it. Okay. Timer Ball. What a useless card. Uh, Ultra Ball. Get us. We'll get the Sea King. Magirna could be kind of good. I'd actually kind of like to swap that Choice Band out. And we just need two heads. There we go. Four heads. Well, that would have been nice if the uh, active was a Reshizard. Uh, let's see what our prize is looking like. A switch. Not great. So now we are going to be in for a bit of a bit of a tough time. If we can draw an energy, though, we can maybe attack with a Ranguru, but I don't know. That's really going to work. This EV Snorlax is going to be hard to put up with. Like, he can't ace roll up, but I don't think he's even playing it. He's most likely going to max potion this thing. And that's not going to be very fun. We also don't have an energy, so it's not looking great. I might have to just bring in the Mew. Okay, what do we draw here? Another Ultra Ball. I don't know. I'm not liking this. Hmm. Might have to switch into a Ranguru. Hmm. I want to attack with the Ranguru, though. Like, if 
If she doesn't end up healing this thing, that'd be great, but it's not looking too good. Same time, though, I don't want to waste this last stretcher. And I want to play it. Okay, you know, we'll play it. Do this. Struck for one. We'll hope for the best. Uh, we got a field blower. We'll save that for next turn, I guess. This is not good. This is how things can go wrong very fast. The EV Lax is just a big problem. Because if his active was a Reshizard, or, or her active was a Reshizard right about now, we would have knocked it out because we got the four heads. Um, but as you can see, this thing is a bit of a pain, and we are just not drawing very well. Okay, no Guzma KO. That's actually pretty good. Okay, let's see. All right, ditto. Not bad. Am I the just Ultra Ball? I need the I need the field blower though for that weakness policy. Why does my hand have to be so bad? Should I just risk getting struck for one? If I whiff it, I can go into the mime. I'm struck for one. Give me a supporter. Nope. Okay. I think the other Ranguru's in the deck. Makes me wish I was playing Mars Shadow now, but hey, what can you do? Okay, there we go. There we go. Cynthia, give us an energy. There's actually a low chance I might not. Yeah, no energy. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Really no point of keeping him active then. It's gonna pass. Let the shrine do its thing. This is not good. This is not good at all. This is what not good looks like. If I can draw an energy, I can attempt to try and Guzma that Reshizard up. If, you, if, she, if there's no weakness policy on it again, we can try and knock it out with Sea King. No, they're going to Guzma. They're actually going to keep my Ranguru alive, which is kind of surprising. That's our last choice band, I think. One, maybe not. I think not going to be able to Volk. This is pretty terrible, as you can tell. I don't really know if we can win this at this point. But hey, we tried, guys. Yay, we tried. A for effort. Alright, can we draw an energy? Nope, not off of that. Go for a little meme strat here. We're going to goose mount that Zard. We're going to try and knock out the Rushy Zard. At the very least, we're going to try and take three prizes here. We have two Instructs. We just need a Water Energy. Nope, that's not a Water Energy. We have five in the deck. Okay. We have three cards to draw to draw it. Can we hit the Water Energy to save our lives? Okay, we do find it. Nice. All we need now is just four heads, and we can, or actually we don't need because I think the uh, we need three heads. All right, nice. We got a knockout! Yay! All right. Uh, the EV Lax is heavily damaged, so I don't know. I don't think we can win this, but hey, we can we can try. If she benches another Reshizard, I could try to Guzma it up if I can get a Guzma. I mean, hey. Despite being far behind, we are trying to come as close as we can to winning this game, and uh, at the very least, we just need to take two prizes to win, so it makes me feel a little bit more happier. It makes me feel a little more happy. Ooh, uh, please tell me how my other Guzma. I really want to knock this thing out. Actually, I don't think I can. Five energy is not enough, but Ranguru can swing. We need the Guzma energy. We didn't get it, though. Now we're gonna make an attempt to try and knock out that Snorlax. Okay, 
I don't think I don't, I don't even know if we're doing enough damage to knock it out in all honesty. I'm too lazy to count. No, uh, we can't even play our hand down. Maybe it's best to try and go for the Goldeen stall. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's try and see if we can buy time with Goldeen. And then maybe try and come in and knock this thing out. You know, it's not gonna happen this next turn. Just pray my opponent doesn't get double custom catcher or their other Guzma. Let's try it out. Let's see if the Goldeen stall works. Okay, looking good. We just I gotta hope they don't have a Guzma or a custom catcher play. And maybe Goldeen can buy us a couple turns and then this thing get KO'd by a Ranguru. Assuming they don't hit a Guzma off the Pokey here. Or a green. I don't know. Never mind, we lost. We lost. I mean, this matchup is, like, fine, but not fine. So, I don't know. Evilac sucks. We just drew poorly, unfortunately. Um, we came super close to winning that game, so it was a feels-good man moment. So, I guess we'll do one more game with the Seeking deck. Alright, guys. We'll do one last match with Seeking here and try and see if we can get... One last good game with the deck. We're fighting against a lot of Reshizard, so I don't know. I'm, I mean, I hope we keep running into fire. I don't really want to play against anything else, in all honesty. All right, another fire deck. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. There's so many different water decks. I even want to try out Wishy Washy. So I was going through my decks, deleting a bunch of like old decks. I have like 400 of them. And I came across the old Wishy Washy deck from Dragon Majesty, and I was like, yo, this deck might actually be a good anti Reshizard deck right now because of the fact that it can actually hit pretty insane numbers. I don't know. Uh, once again, our hand is trash. I love to see it. Why are our hands so bad recently? I don't get it. How are we going to beat Reshi's when we're drawing so poorly? Honestly, though, I'm surprised we ran into this much Reshi's Like, I know it's a popular deck, but I didn't think it was going to be this popular. But hey, the more Reshi's the more water I will play. I judge. I don't know if I want to play that, but I guess we got to do what we got to do. Right, I'm gonna risk the choice man and hope they don't knock me out. We're gonna judge him to four. Can we get a good hand? Kind of. I'll take it, I guess. We can probably do instruct. Next turn. Alright. Let the shine do its thing. And we're gonna try and knock him out. At the very least, we've actually been able to knock out all the Reshizards with the Seeking. Like, even the last game, where we got absolutely destroyed by that Eevee Snorlax, we were still able to hit a knockout on a Reshizard. So, at the very least, Seeking is just taking out these Reshiram Charizards like it's nobody's business. So that's a good thing. It's looking like we're going to try and repeat history here. Hopefully. I don't know, maybe this deck needs like more supporters. Maybe it needs more energy spinner or energy recycle system. I could see being played in this deck, but I have the XP share. So like, I, they don't need to be played, but I don't know. Maybe they do. So they bump the shrine here. The shrine tickle go away. But at the very least, the Lele... And I can take damage. But if he bumps it, I can also play my own shrine. And I can technically put my hand down. Ooh, he's gonna go for a Kiawe. Uh, I'm actually more tempted to do the Elegant Swim. And not Evolve Seeking, but I don't have an energy, so I don't know if that's good. I think we just evolved the bench. I do want to go for Elegant Swim. I guess we could take a knockout, though, if we draw an energy. Which we do. Alright, let's try and knock him out. If we knock him out, Victory Royale. Alright, struck for one. We just need three heads to KO this thing. Three heads. One, two heads, three heads. Nice. Seeking is the lord and savior of taking out these Reshiram Charizards. Oh my gosh, this is actually getting hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm done. All right, yo, I'm just gonna wrap up the video here. We've got enough Reshizard games under our belt. The, the, Re Seeking is too good, and we got a team up pack to award us. All hail your new lord and savior of the standard format, Seeking. Holy cow, this is amazing. The fact that Seeking is bodying these Reshi's art, it is hilarious. This is a comedy video at this point, guys. I might just not even title this like, this won't even be a gaming video. This is a comedy video because Reshi's art is just getting slapped. Unfortunately, we did take an L to a Reshi's art deck, but uh, Reshi's art is getting defeated. We are just, I think we've, yeah, we've taken out all the Reshi's art we've come across, so... I don't know, man. Seeking, I don't think it's a great deck, but we were able to find a bunch of Seeking games in a row, like, or a bunch of Reshizard games in a row. Like, I straight up was just finding games against Reshizard. I wasn't even, like, trying to find that many Reshizard games. It just happened. I don't know. 
Maybe Seeking is like Loki good. I would actually consider trying to get another uh, supporter in this deck though, in all honesty, just because we kept drawing pretty poorly at some points. Uh, a ninth energy could be good. I don't know, maybe take out an EXP share. Choice Band was doing all the heavy lifting. I don't know, maybe take out an EXP share, throw in an energy recycle system, throw in an energy spinner, just any more ways to get energy for Seeking, I guess. Outside of that, I like this deck. I, I, it, it's fun because it takes out Rushy's art in some successions. But yeah, the wrap of the day's piece of video, guys. Of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe down the road to 5k subs or 4,800 subscribers. And uh, also, guys, make sure to check out the sponsor Car Camera TCG in the description below. If you get anything from there, use code LEF, get a 5% discount. Check out my Twitter. Follow it in the description down below if you want to stay up to date. And leave a like on the video for Seeking, Destroying Rushy's art. I'll see you guys later. Bye.